Greetings, YouTube and fellow traditionalist Catholics. This is Sergio Becerra II here again. Uh, I want to lay out something important here when it comes to uh, the Catholic faith and um, people who claim to be Catholic when in fact they're not, but in fact support damnable sins and heresies. As we all know that um, our pathetic excuse of a president that would be Joe Biden claims to be a devout Catholic when in fact he's not. When he has been supportive of abortion and of course uh, same-sex rights throughout the whole country. And it's not just uh, Joe Biden alone. Nancy Pelosi, who claims to be Catholic herself, is also not a true Catholic. Who recently was at the Vatican with anti-Pope Francis and, and in fact had um, mass at St. Peter's and received Holy Communion after the Archbishop of San Francisco, Salvatore Cordolion, uh, denied her communion because of her stance on abortion. Now, here's the thing. Being a, you cannot be a Catholic and be supportive of these heresies and sins altogether. They don't go together, no. They just don't work that way and they don't work together, no. So, for this video, I want to point out, if I were Pope, I think um, this is what I would do. This is something both Biden and Pelosi are like way overdue for, and we have a Pope who's just socked in the end, in my opinion. And, I, and from what I've been hearing, that anti-Pope Francis is, in fact, I think he's somehow supportive of both um, sodomy and abortion is what I've been hearing completely because if he's just going to allow Pelosi to get away with uh, having communion and not be punished for anything else, well, this is what I would have done if I were the Pope. I'm pretty sure you saw my last video about what I would, about what I would do if I were Pope, like change the church back to what, to what, uh, to what it went to, sorry, to what it really was traditionally in its traditionalist form so if i were pope like i said in my last video if i had done the title of gregory the 17th this is what i would do to both biden and pelosi and like i said this is what they're both way overdue for excommunication and anathematization so i'm going to read off my phone from two facebook postings which i'm not going to show off my phone, I'm just going to read it off. This is what I would do if I were a Pope and what I would do with Biden and Pelosi. These would be their excommunications and anathematizations. And I would have personally mailed out their, their papal bulls with their names on it showing that they're done. They're no longer in the church. And I want to make it very clear I'm not, I want to be acting political and what my judgment would be. No. This is about what they should not have been support, supporting. They should not be supporting anything simple or heretical. Like I said, this isn't something that, this is something I would not do politically. No. This is to show them a lesson about going against church doctrine. So this is so for the first one, this is what I would say if I were a Pope in the way how I would lay out Biden's excommunication. Here's what I would say to them. This is what I wrote on Facebook. <clears throat> Therefore, in the name of God, the all powerful Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, of blessed Peter, Prince of the Apostles, and of all the saints, hereby denounce and condemn. President Joe Biden for his heresies of mass support of sodomy and termination of the and termination of the unborn. We hereby deprive and separate him from the communion of the body and blood of Christ, from the church, from heaven, and from God. I, the seventeenth Pope Gregory, excommunicate and anathematize him his wife, his entire family, 
the first, the first lady's family and future offspring of both families. We deliver him to Satan, knowing that his soul won't be saved on the day of judgment. Fiat. So, this right here is Biden's excommunication and anathematization. Now, let's switch over to Pelosi. It's going to sound the exact same thing. Same thing with Pelosi. Same words, same everything. Therefore, in the name of God, the all-powerful, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, of blessed Peter, Prince of the Apostles, and of all the saints, hereby denounce and condemn the United States Speaker of the House of Representatives, Nancy Pelosi, for her heresy of supporting the termination of the unborn and using Catholicism to promote the termination of the unborn. We hereby deprive and separate her from the communion of the body and blood of Christ. From the church, from heaven, and from God. I, the 17th Pope Gregory, excommunicate and anathematize her, her husband, her nephew, Governor Gavin Newsom of California, and his family, her entire family and future offspring. We deliver her to Satan, knowing that her soul won't be saved on the day of judgment. Fiat. So that's what I would do with both Biden and Pelosi. They're both excommunicated. They're anathematized. Everyone in their family. Everyone in their entire family tree. Joe Biden's family. The First Lady's family. Any future offspring. That includes Joe Biden's son, Hunter, who's a bit of a mess himself. Nancy Pelosi, same thing. Her entire family tree excommunicated. Her nephew, who is my governor here in California, Gavin Newsom, also done way with. Excommunicated. Anyone in, anyone in her family, gone. Done. Any future offspring, not allowed in the church. No baptism, nothing. So, again, I'm not being political. This is to show them a lesson, to teach them a lesson. So, that's how I would lay out for both of them. So, tell me what you think below. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell beside. And tell me what you think in the comments below. All right, then. That takes it up. I mean, I'm sorry. That's it for now. Have a safe and blessed day. Take care now. Bye.